गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेरी वॉम वेलकम वंस अगेन टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम बैक विथ अनदर सेशन ऑफ आवर वीडियो लेक्चर इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द थर्ड चैप्टर नेम्ड एज मोशन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन होपफुली बाई दिस टर्म यू मस्ट बी वेल वर्ल्ड विद द वेरियस थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू फिजिक्स अंडर द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द फॉर्म ऑफ फर्स्ट पार्ट physical world and the second part of units and dimensions by this time i i i wish every student must be aware of some of the important things like the basic aspects related to physics and all you should be well versed with that if not go through the videos again and again these video modules are presented only to make sure that you are listening them again and again whenever you get some kind of a doubt live lecture is something different which is not be repeated again and again but this kind of a uh, video sessions or recording classes are are very much should be very much helpful to recap or to revise the things thoroughly again and again uh, let's come back to the academic part like the uh, part one of third chapter first of all uh, i would like to know the contents what you are going to get in this chapter and once i give the brief introduction to the contents we'll then analyze the things what you are going to learn in this chapter i have mentioned here in the board already so these are the things what we have in first chapter so third chapter part 1 video it is named as motion in a straight line motion in a straight line and the contents of this chapter are you are going to get some introduction to the terminologies used in this chapter we are going to get the knowledge on position path length displacement etc some other various terms average speed and average velocity instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity their graphical representations of evo evo means what these thing graphical representations of instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity acceleration that is again graphical representation of acceleration seventh one is kinematic equations of uniformly accelerated motion and the last topic in this the last thing what you are going to learn in this chapter is that relate to velocity now to make sure that these are the contents what you are going to learn under this chapter of motion in straight line before going to start with this no no i mean to say that by the end of this we chapter by the end of some parts part 1 something related we are actually making some different part for one chapter not a single chapter because to make sure that the size of the video gets the duration of the video should be proper now you cannot listen to one hour two hour classes at a stretch right so accordingly myself or like other uh, faculties are planning for some fixed time of the video like 30 minutes is a minimum time initially let us go with 30 minutes i really i made only 10 minutes video just to make sure that you are getting or learning the things now i am making 30 minutes video now in this uh, till 30 minutes how much we can complete we are going to check that i'll stop at the end of 30 minutes or some closer time according to the content and all we'll go ahead or now i what i mean to say you is <coughs> by the end of this today's class you are going to learn some of these things i cannot tell you like whole of the thing but some part of this going to be understood now let us start with this chapter of if you are clear like what are contents you are going to learn in this chapter and now let us start with the chapter now uh, coming back to this chapter my kind suggestion my uh, utmost suggestion to every student is that when you get some kind of the heading either for a chapter or for the content try to apply uh, try to get the meaning of each and everything in that particular sentence motion in a straight line now try to apply how many things you know from this do you know what is motion do you know what is straight line accordingly any kind of for example if i say this thing kinematic equations of uniformly accelerated but now you should apply how much you know for each and everything in this do you know what is kinematics if you don't know we may get some introduction somewhere here equation what is equation something relates like something would be there y is equals to mx plus c is some kind of equations in mathematics what you have learned any other equations you know 
uh, if you know some equations from your previous class, like you might be knowing that g is equal to gm by r square. If you have learned this, these are the things what you called. We have seen in some chapters that like, uh, mathematical part is related. How you put that in mathematical form is governed by an equation. So you should now know what you will be something in the form of mathematical form. Connect by means of is equal to symbol. Uniformly, something would be there. Something uniform. Uh, the other word for uniform is constant. Hopefully, you can understand it uniformly. Accelerated. You are coming across this acceleration. If you understand this acceleration, then you understand what is accelerated. Motion. What is motion? Like like this. Like this. Try to apply. By applying that, you are actually going to understand what you are going to learn under that heading. Now, in the similar way, let us first get back to this. In this chapter of motion is straight line, what is that you are going to learn? It is you are now going to talk about the motion. You should know motion by this time. If not, guess what it is? What do you mean by motion? Movement. What does movement involves with? Movement involves with, if now I am moving. What is that movement involved with? In physical terms, movement involves with the change of position. What is that? In physical terms, in physics, motion involves with the change of position change of position is again direct one or with respect to time there should be some now understanding physics involves with some standard reference things standard reference values standard reference should be always there at some point of time i'm somewhere after five seconds i am at some other location this is what the change of position this is what the change of position motion in physics deals with the change in position of a body with respect to time then in what motion we are now talking about it should be straight line path what is be straight line path going only in one path do we always travel in only one path any kind of a person or okay let us get back let us try to understand various terminologies actually these are the things what you are going to get under the first introduction of terminology I'll just erase the remaining parts of this one to make sure that we concentrate on the first part. Let us first talk about the terminologies, what are mean, what you should know. <clears throat> the various terms what you are going to get in this chapter are something like this. You should be well versed with or you should now understand these things. First of all, since you are talking about motion, the first term what? We understand what you should understand is that motion, a body, an object. Usually, we refer, we take some kind of anything in the universe is an physical object. I am a physical object. Everyone, bus is a physical object. Planet is a physical. With respect to the universe, everything is an object which is under study. The thing, what is under study? The thing, the object, what is under study is called as a physical body. A body can be in motion. If a body cannot be in motion, where it can be? Now, I am not moving. So, where I am? I am now at, what is that term used to say that I am not moving? The term used is rest. Or a body or an object. We usually take body or object. A card is a body, a marker is a body, a marker is an object, everything is an object or body. A body or an object can be either in rest or be in motion. The terms what you have to get is, how, when once you talk about object or the body, how many kinds of objects are possible? We In physics we define this in two terms. One is in the form of point object and other is in the form of extended object enlarged object smallest part of anything is called as point object smallest part of anything is called as point object extended object is combination of many such point objects simply to make you understand you might be knowing that chalk paste what we used to write on the board right this is marker i'm using marker even this is an extended object the smallest particle what i can take out from this can i break this into small i can make it two of course not now, but I can, this can be 2, 4, 8, 16, what are the different parts you can make? Like that, how much smallest I can make for this? That smallest particle is called as a point object. 
Now this is a combination of what? This is a combination of many point objects. This is a combination of many point object like that a physical body a physical object what is under study is either a point object generally in physics we initially start with point objects for some for, for some of the few chapters later we go for the extended objects that is uh, how the various objects or extended things are going to take place that is motion of your body or rest of the body point object